call this May 3rd, 2023 meeting of the Information Technology Committee to order. Uh, as we are all participating remotely, I will go through the formality of calling the roll uh, so that uh, we know that everybody is here and can hear us and we can hear them. Uh, Mr. Baker. Here. Mr. Hassinger. I'm here. Mr. Carroll. Here. Mr. Clark. Here. And Mr. Robbins is here. Great. We're all here. Um, our first agenda item is, as always, public input. And we have no attendees on Zoom at the moment. Um, unless one of us has something that we wish to contribute as public input for this meeting, we will proceed. Um, neither Evan nor William were able to participate in the meeting this evening. I do have an update from Evan as far as progress he can report to us, which really isn't a whole lot. Uh, we heard he, very briefly on this at the last meeting. He just you know, followed up with slightly more information for this meeting on the cameras. Evan says that they have completed installing all new cameras throughout the Municipal Center, waiting to install two more cameras at the Treasurer Collector's window, which will complete this phase of the project. They are planning to add in a future phase cameras to the second floor and the outside. And then in phase three of the project, they're going to be adding panic alarms. <clears throat> so that's that's the update on the camera project. I think previously, I mean, he did, he mentioned they're adding outside cameras, but as I recall, they had one camera on the uh, outside for the uh, uh, the drop boxes. So that's probably that's presumably these other outside cameras are around the rest of the building. And uh, on the other ongoing project, Office 365, Evan basically says the project is stalled at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, they are having trouble. <laughs> Evan's description of, it, of this is having trouble getting government tenant issued through Microsoft. We have applied several times and hmm. they are having issues on their end. All the preparatory, preparatory work is done on our end. So at the moment, it seems the 0365 conversion is in the ball is in Microsoft's court and they're waiting for Microsoft to resolve some issues on their end. So that's all I all I have from Evan to uh, report to the committee. And is there anything we might want to, uh, you know, send back to Evan in the way of comments or questions? And my condolences for having to work with Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that's that agenda item update from the town administrator. The next agenda my agenda item I have is the town website, although I don't have anything in particular uh, from my perspective to report on or comment on with that. I know we had some comments and questions from the last meeting, and um, I haven't I had a, had haven't taken out taken it upon myself to follow up on any of that with Evan or William. Partly because I, right after the last meeting, I got distracted with a uh, project digging up information for the planning office, which took some time. If you're curious, Bob, they they we were asked to provide a list of all the projects for which the board had issued a waiver for the 500 foot dead end limit. So I spent some time digging through my records and digging through and compiling a list. And so the, the, to, to, the, this is not probably the right place, but I'd be interested to uh, know what what you got. Yes, I su I suspect it would be a good idea to share that with the board. Uh, yeah, you, but I don't know whether. Uh, well, okay, you know. Yeah, you, you you can probably guess why we were asked to dredge out that list. Yeah, and whether we should share it in public or. I mean, presumably it's all public records, but uh, 
you know, I mean, there there may be some elements of that that we may not. Yeah, you know, you'd have to think about it. But yeah. yep. So without without going into detail on that, yeah, it it, it occurred to me that it, it ultimately, in some fashion, might be of interest to the board. But anyway, that would involve digging through, uh, uh, doing some GIS analysis and digging you know, digging up registry documents and. Anyway, it was interesting. Interesting to see the result, but that that took my mind off following up on last month's IT committee meeting, and and I've got been doing other stuff. I'm not sure that we're obligated to do that level of uh, investigation. You know, yeah. available records, yes, but you know. So back to the topic of tonight's meeting. Is there anything we wanted to uh, discuss further on the town website at this point? I, as far as I can tell, not really much has changed. Uh, and so, you know, issues that we've discussed in the past are largely still issues. I yeah, I mean, I think that probably need to have some back and forth or, or some responses, you know, back from some of the things that we brought up last time before really. I have much more to, to add. I think yeah. a lot of people brought up various things, and I don't know that we're getting really much traction on a lot of that stuff, even without with the conversations. It's like the the vendor is going to do what the vendor does, kind of. Yeah, but I know one topic that we discussed last time that I that I think is well worth following up on is the you know the the topic of document distribution. And uh, document control. Yeah, the doc the retention. I was when I was rereading through the minutes. I, I was like, that's actually probably pretty important to, to to I don't know ensure like make sure that they're aware of that the uh, hole that could be created there. Yep. Yep. So hope hopefully I won't drop the ball on that and follow up on our discussion here and. And uh, you try to put something coherent together, either summarizing what we've discussed and sending it off to Evan and William, or possibly putting something together for us to re review and flesh out a little bit more at our next meeting, or, or maybe both. <laughs> but yeah, th that's a topic definitely worth following up on. You know, some of the issues, just more issues of the website, some, some of the details that it's still worth our while to bring that to their attention and whether they can do anything about it, at least make sure that they they are uh, fully aware of at least the, the issues and, and, and aspects that uh, we would like to bring to their attention. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that they've uh, kind of given up on, you know, where we are, where we are, and that's it. Um, and uh, I think we need to go be able to go further. But yep, no, it's, I think it's still true that there would be a benefit to having a, an individual who has the time needed to focus more on the website. I mean, William is kind of the primary point guy, but he's got a lot of other responsibilities. We 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 don't have an individual or even a group who that is really tasked with managing the website and uh, you know thinking about the you know and really putting some design effort into it. And... Well, also some effort pushing back and forth with the vendors. Yep. Um, of course. We've been talking about basically that same thing for for a long, long time. Need a, a webmaster or something, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. This is this is not something that we've just come up with. <laughs> no, but it, not not even the current generation of the site. I know. So do do we know if? Um... <clears throat> After they've gone live, other than the input feedback that this committee has provided to them, have they done any surveying 
or polling or anything like that to see what the you know community at large and their customers which is all of us right <laughs> who is it say. who is this they you speak of well it would be um evan right and um william mm -hmm. yeah and the only, right the only thing i'm aware of you know and this goes back to the fall that uh, before the site went live if i remember correctly they spent an hour or two at the senior center, uh, you know, working with uh, with you know folks there and and you know, getting some feedback on the interaction with the website. But after that, I haven't heard of any further work to follow up and get uh, you know, public response, public public reaction to the you know the new website, and yeah, and uh, it's been live now for several months. You right, know, you would think maybe that uh, this would be a good time after right. after it's you know the 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 cut over to the new site and you know, things presumably were you know, are now pretty stable. You know, the first few weeks there were yeah. some you know, issues, which are not surprising. Whenever you cut over to something new, there's going to be some issues. But uh, it's been it's been live long enough for for it to be considered reasonably stable and for the public to have had time to. Uh, get used to using it. Uh, but yeah, I think you're absolutely right. It, it, it would be good to, for them to get some feedback. And uh, right. What, Otherwise, okay. What? Why did we do all this? And what's the? Yeah. You know, um, definition of success. Did we just do it to you know change <laughs> platforms and update, or were we looking to improve some kind of benchmark scoring? You know, whatever um baseline yeah. they want to use right um right. hopefully you know there was a reason to do this you know and, and did we have right. customer did we have any metrics for success yeah <laughs> well so, so i mean my impression other than it works maybe yeah my my, well. pers my person so far has been that the the primary goal was to make it look prettier or newer like yeah. i'm not like i'm not sure that any goals to make it more functional have been like fully met yet so and it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of attention on that so i mean at least in my mind that the primary goal for them has been to make it look more modern and prettier which i, I guess it does look newer than the old site but there just is a lot of missing functionality or things that could be improved on it yeah i i, I don't think that that's uh quite it i think it's have a functioning site after the old site had to come down um that and without too much uh pushback from people pain and suffering <laughs> more or less um well it's, it, like, it, like, it's like, not like, it, it's not easy in that office um with everybody pulling in every direction uh right now and or, or forever um we're we're overstaffed if we can keep up um you know yeah i i mean it's it's pretty common that people get pulled away to the next new thing or whatever you know whatever the current thing of the moment is going to be and then stuff that's been rolled out pretty much just ends up being forgotten i, I think it's you know, but I think Bob's question was pretty good. I, like, there's also, I believe there's feedback abil ability from the site itself. And I'm curious about what the follow up on any people who submit um, anything via that would be as well. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know what the loop is for following through with needed lifecycle improvements for the site now that it's been rolled out. Yeah, but just you know, just based on this and our previous conversation about it, it's probably. Uh, I I think it would be worthwhile for me to put together you know, sort of something from this committee, you know, expressing some of these questions and and sort of you know getting a sense of where they're, where the town staff is at with this, what, what, if anything, they're planning to do to uh, 
you know, to continually continue to work on and improve the website, uh, aside from just correcting problems as they come up, you know, re responding to re responding to complaints or issues. Is there is there you know, anything? Do they have anything in mind for sort of tracking people's usage of it? Uh, you know, getting regular feedback and uh, all, all that kind of stuff. I think, I think, I think Bob's suggestion is actually like the, the more I sit and think about it and stew about it, I think what like his question is actually a great suggestion he should make forward, put forward. I mean, we're five individuals that obviously have technical backgrounds or, um, you know, are, are familiar with the inner workings of sites, but there is a whole large number of actual users of the site that it's arguably even far more important that they're able to do yep. what the function is that they need to do on the site. And I think like the comment that he made, I think would be a great suggestion that we should recommend that they should create a project to do a focused survey of a large number of people beyond just, you know, just targeted groups of people for feedback on what they're their how they use a site and where their problems are in trying to accomplish their usage of the sites and then make it as part of that project a targeted goal to try to figure out what user improvements could be done to meet those um i, I don't know if there's enough caring to meet the, the like to to work towards that though but i, I think that would be if they're interested in having an improved user experience that's exactly the way they should probably go with it Yep, I agree with that. Or if nothing more, um, you know, Google Analytics, which I saw the, um, what is it, a UID, uh, UID or UIE, something like that is embedded in that site. So they have mm -hmm. the stats to see what pages and how people are navigating to the site, whether they're linking in, whether they're searching for it, right? And then what, what pages and what content. I'm sure that framework has all of that available. Yeah, but if they so they probably have all those analytics and it's probably not being looked at anyone from the town it's probably be if anyone's only looked at by the vendor and they probably don't necessarily care about you know the site content at all so i'm sure it's available but i'm not sure that they have anyone with the skill set or the or the knowledge on what to do with that yeah or yeah. the uh well we would priority. ask, <laughs> ask, um, ask that william Right. Yeah, I mean, I think that we need to just understand what the ability is to make changes at this point, and it seems like not much, right? So if there's no budget to, or there's no contract in place to have them make any changes to the site, then we can have all the data in the world and we can know how to improve it, but we won't be able to improve it, right? So I think that maybe gaining that understanding from uh, William and Evan is would be a good first step, right? Because, I mean, if there literally is no money and no contract in place to, to make any changes to the site then you know i think that all of this is for nothing that's a i mean if that's the case then that's a very short-sighted way this was done because a website's a living in a deep it's not a one time when you're done thing so if that's the way that this was approached then that's actually pretty bad foresight on everyone's part yeah, and I mean, if there is an ability to change things, then maybe we maybe we can help to prioritize those changes, right? Yeah, I know that there's a certain degree of control that we have over the content and organization of the site. Um, there are presumably there are our constraints on what you know that basically dictate what we can and cannot control. I suspect that some of the user interaction elements that at least I find unsatisfactory, at least some of those are probably not within our ability to control, although we could conceivably attempt to influence the vendor. Other other elements of it, uh, yeah, there are some things that, that we can do. Uh, an I guess an example of what we are able to do is something like, um, where we've ended up with on the planning board in terms of our meeting our meeting materials page you know one of our concerns and i remember that you know bob in particular was worried about this that we had it nicely set up on the old website where we had a page 
with all with links to all the relevant documents for a given meeting, which is not just you know meeting uh, a meeting agenda uh, documents that are posted specifically just for that meeting, but also to separate project pages for for projects that were to be reviewed by the meeting. And it took a while, but Natalia did get that all set up, and it's that aspect of it is generally working at least as well at least at least from my perspective it's working at least as well as the old one was and in fact in in a couple of at least minor respects I, I i'm liking it a little bit better than the old one but it took a while to get that organized we didn't have that on day one when the new website went live so there are some things some things that we are clearly able to do on our own um other things that we probably don't have control over, like that, like the the presentation on the uh, agenda center page, where it's the, the the default presentation is not at all what I would have chosen as a way to organize and, and operate the user interaction. On that we've talked about that before, but uh, still, still in all, you know, just following up on the conversation we're now having, um, I mean, I'm hearing a, you know, several items that uh, would be worth discussing with the administration here you know the, the people in charge of that in terms of you know the extent to which they're interested in using analytics and or user surveys to uh, to to get a better sense of how usable the website is and what what improvements can be made you know what what are the most used and least used parts and there's there's a number of things that you can probably pursue along that line um so it's yeah, it's worth following up with them, and we'll we'll yeah, get a sense of what they are interested in doing, what they are committed to doing, you know, things that maybe they haven't thought of that they probably should think about or want to think about. Definitely worth a follow up. Yeah, I mean to Amar's point, if if there's either a lack of ability to take action on any recommendations, or there's a lack of desire for doing so then us talking about it every month isn't really accomplishing anything it's just yeah. like kind of a waste of time other than just echoing the same things that that people have been saying for for months now so i, I mean that mars probably right that that probably is the first step to find out if that's even something that's continuing because i mean the last few months they've been kind of checked out as far as website information to us anyway that kind of moved on to other things should we we we're just sort of doing a uh, watching what's going on at this point um and commenting on it is there any prospect for interest in becoming active in that having them give access to some of the information so that people here who have a clue what it's all about might be able to contribute. Yeah, that's worth or finding out. Understand the constraints around, you know, what what tools are in the package, and uh, you know where where the barriers are, and find maybe find some solutions that um, people at their levels wouldn't find. Um, so if right, if there is some interest on. The administration's part. If if they have some interest in following up on some of these ideas, and if they have an interest in seeking our help to do that, uh, you know, that clear, you know, that clearly, clearly, yeah, I I don't expect them to spend you know, a, a, anybody in town hall to to spend a majority amount of their time uh, working on the website. Yep. You know, and the kinds of things that we're talking about. But if they're interested in doing some work, getting some work done along these lines and uh, enlisting the help of people who have the time and ability to you know, get involved in uh, understanding you know, how the website is currently used, what users' problems are with it, what the town's opportunities are to improve that, yeah, I think if if they're interested in working with us on that, I'm sure 
all or most of us would be happy to uh, spend some time working with them. Sure. Yes. Yeah. That, that's that's my point. Yes. Um, and I know I make it so, Mr. Chair. Yeah, I, I I will say that I have on a couple of occasions mentioned to William that uh, we we have some expertise here, and uh, you know we'd be happy to uh, uh, to get involved with them. And uh, you know, I I suspect I, if I were William, I'd be a little hesitant about other people coming in to do what I was told was my job um yep so asking for it asking uh, you know asking uh uh evan and and and, uh, and all um might not be the way we get there we talked to um evan uh basically here uh, we we understand that uh that this is something that seems to be important that we might be able to help with if you were interested yes i think i i, I think probably yeah at, at the time i had you know the, the 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 time or two that i've mentioned it it you know, they were kind of distracted or with, with other things maybe and and yeah, well, just focus focus on getting the uh, the the essential job done but uh yeah i think i think a uh a follow-up uh, would probably be uh you know worthwhile okay. to find a way to explore what we uh you right. know. you you, you, t you tell evan that the com in in his absence the committee's been agitating about this and wanting to deal with it and uh you know provide a, a need to uh <coughs> yeah deal with it uh, what we deal with what we were just talking about yeah so i had a q a from our our attendee who asks would the board be able to influence the website page be uniform and the same each board or committee is presented differently and sorry you basically just answered that i appreciate the board's effort and concerns i'm assuming he's re referring to us but yeah, it is uh, you know, you know, one of the topics that uh, sticks in my mind is the uh, you know the, the the variation amongst different boards and committees as presented on the web page, and a lot of that was carried over from the old website. I think some improvements have probably been probably been made, but uh, I mean those those are the kinds of things that uh, we've been talking about, and uh, we we think maybe. Maybe the administration would be interested in getting more done along those lines. Uh, but as we've said, it's a question of how much, you know, how much effort they are able to put into it and what the constraints are with the website the vendor. Yeah, the, it ends up being part of this is someone, someone in town hall has got to do some of the, you know, if, if pages are going to be handled differently, someone in town hall is going to have to be going and, 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 uh, William's doing or has been doing some of that. You know, I keep asking, uh, Natalia, you know, what's going on and all this. In fact, we even had a little exchange tonight. Um, not, no, no, no issue here, but, but some of what we're, Dave and I are coming up looking at yeah um so anyway i think that's that's an you know you, you need to need to understand there they have limits yeah sometimes i feel a little bit like with our discussion Working together, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get the pages organized uh completely just from out here either we're gonna have to work back and forth with uh probably with with uh William. Yep, I know. There are times I it sort of feels like with you know some of the things that we've been discussing off and on over the months and years even, it, sometimes it feels a little bit like we're just sort of spinning our wheels. You know, we talk about the same things over and over again, and you know, we're not we're not seeing much. You know, not seeing things change. 
but yeah, I think just based on all this, like I said before, I'll 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 follow up with the uh, with William and Evan and uh, you know, try to explore what uh, you know what would be practical and useful for us to do, if if anything. I mean, if nothing's going to change, we you know we, we can sit and complain about it every month, but <laughs> you know, and you know it's complaining can be fun sometimes, but uh, we probably have better things to do with our time. For certain values of uh, fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If that's all we have on that, uh, we have our next agenda item is to review and approve previous meeting minutes. Uh, Alan did provide us with minutes of the April 5th meeting. Uh, I found only one correction I would recommend making. making Someone else may have any other comments. Bob, you may have noticed that if you read through them uh, under public input, uh, where it says Bob Hassinger has been exchanging messages with William slash Tanya. Uh, I believe the name is the Natalia there. Sorry. All right. Thanks, Natalia. N A T A L I A. Yeah, you know, just just hearing it spoken out loud. If you don't know Natalia or don't know of her. It, it, I can see how you might have heard Tanya, but right. other than other than that, I had no additions or corrections to the minutes. All right, I've updated cool. that. Hmm? What's that? I didn't. You know, I, I said, said you updated that. I said I've updated that. Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, I move uh, approval with the update discussed. Second. Moved and seconded that the minutes of April 5th be approved with the amendment noted during discussion. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, I'll put it to a vote. Mr. Baker. Aye. Mr. Carroll. Aye. Mr. Clark. Aye. Mr. Hassinger. Aye. Mr. Robbins votes aye. Motion carried unanimously. Those minutes are approved. I do note, I mean, Alan had mentioned in his email that he has yet to do the minutes of the March meeting. And I also don't have any record that we've looked at minutes of the January or February meetings. Um, I know I missed the February one. So if we need to, I can do the same thing for that one. Um, the January meetings, were they were those from me? Let me look real quick here. Yeah, they should have been. That, that is, uh, I would I would have expected you to be uh, producing the minutes of a January meeting. Let me just check. I think we had a January meeting, didn't we? Yes, I have a few notes from a January meeting. So we must have. Oh, and and I think there's a there's a video of the January meeting somewhere floating around. So yeah, we had one. So there's a couple. Of, Couple that we'll need to catch up on. Yeah. So, so, I, so if we need to, I'll watch the. Um, so you need me to watch the February and March meetings to take the notes on those. I can do that. That's fine. Yeah. And uh, if you, if if you've written minutes for the January meeting, um, I don't think we've seen them yet. But yeah. You know, so the last minutes that I that I have any notes on that I've seen and that I think we've approved were the. December 22 meeting. All right, I'll pull those up. I don't have them available here, so it must be on my home computer. Yeah, so just yeah, yeah, I'm not, just, just follow up on that when you when you have the time and I'm gonna make sure we're caught up. And uh, one other note on meeting minutes. Um, Paul's gone from the assess from the clerk's office. Paul was always good at pestering us, pestering committees to get their minutes up to date on the on the town website. And I know we have minutes from July through December of last year. Yeah, and you would send me a message. I think what, what the issue was is I was sending it to the wrong address, and so I need to send it to um, the clerk address. And yeah. so that's on me to do that. I haven't followed up on that yet, so yeah. I'll, I'll take care sure. of it also. You're right. Sooner or later, someone from the clerk uh, clerk's office will probably be pestering me. But that's yeah. yeah. The videos of all the meetings are, are available on, you know, on on YouTube. So if anybody wants to go look at them, yeah, the videos are there. 
No, but that, that's fine. It's so uh, something that we have the minutes and we're supposed to turn them in. So I'll do that. Yeah, that's just um, a matter of, you know, getting them. You know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm quite sure you sent them already, but they lost. Uh, they must have lost them. Um, I, I get. I guess so. I, I'm not sure, but either way, I'm not. I mean, it, it, I, that's fine. I can take the ownership for that. But um, either way, I'll I'll make sure to do yeah. that. If I know that there was a set of minutes from the first half of last year that they didn't have and i had taken those minutes and i'm i'm absolutely sure that i had me emailed them to the clerk's office at some point but to, rather than fight with them over it, yeah i did send them to you it's your fault i just sent them again yeah i'm not i'm not i'm i'm a grown-up I, I it's fine i can take um if it's on me that's fine I, i'm okay with that uh, no problem yeah and not not that it's particularly relevant for us. This is a kind of a glitch in the clerk's office. But um, and when I was looking to see what they had in their agendas, you know, and, and the agendas and minutes pages, uh, they don't have some of the links to the videos of the meeting. That I know the videos exist, but they're supposed to put them all on the uh, agenda center pages, and some of them do, and some of them don't. But that's not on us at all. That's just that's that's the clerk's office that manages that. So with that, um, we always have we've been putting possible executive session on our meeting agendas every time. But uh, again, this evening there is nothing that uh, could require an executive session, so we will skip over that agenda item. Not unless anyone wants to hear more about the. Be dealing with ransomware people this month. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully the town is not going to have to deal with a ransomware attack. But... So speaking of ransomware, go to um, um, it's uh, harvardpilgrim.org. <laughs> they they've been going since April seventeenth, and this is the second largest insurer in Massachusetts. Yeah. Is there, is there a site? Um, is there a site compromised? Yeah, it redirects you and has a blurb. On um, well, then I would recommend not going to that because you don't know if there's something embedded in there. <laughs> but right um, before the meeting started, I was mentioning to I think it was just Dave and I at the time that the city of Dallas got hit. Um, I think it was this week. They announced it today. That they got hit with a um, ransomware that shut down their all of their IT infrastructure and their police communications um, infrastructure um, to where 911 responders were having to write out the notes and messages to provide for um, for police dispatch. Uh, it's pretty and so uh, IT infrastructure that size. I can only imagine what the ransomware ask is going to be on that. I know. Generally, for towns our size, it's usually several million dollars. So I can only guess how much Dallas would will cost. Um, hopefully, they have pretty good backup and business continuity um, procedures to fall back on. Did uh, they uh, or anybody that uses iPhone? Did anybody notice that a uh, like emergency? update mm -hmm. this morning yeah. uh, something about you know 16 dot whatever dot whatever a in the in the number because i think we had already had the one without the a um and that was an emergency as well because i know my yeah. IT department sent me an email like hey you have three days to install this or you're shutting off your phone access yeah. to corporate assets <laughs> I, I I just opened my my iPhone and I got the rapid security response dialogue. Right. Restart. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh yeah, they they issued it for some vulnerabilities that I don't think have been announced yet as far as what they were. I'm I'm guessing after this goes out they'll announce what the vulnerabilities are um that were. Yeah, I had read I had read something on the web earlier today about the Apple's rapid security response, but this is the first time I picked up my iPhone and looked to look at it to see. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm not quite sure that that seems to be a different thing. Usually, 
when there's an update, it takes about a half an hour to, uh, you know, load it into the phone and do all the stuff. But that went very quickly. I, I didn't believe it was done. I, I, you know, yeah. it sort of went to the bloop. Yeah, that rapid security response from Apple is a fairly new, a pretty new thing. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I, I don't believe it's a full, like a full OS update. I think it's literally their 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 ability to now do uh, hot fix patches for specific yeah. targeted vulnerabilities. Yeah. Okay. Did we vote? Did we vote to adjourn? No, that's generally you that does. The, you oh well, but that. I lost track. We've not yet made the motion. Did you make the motion? I second it. I second it. I second it. I appreciate you seconding that, so that way it's just the same as last month. I don't have to update this. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> all right. Moved seconded this that this meeting be adjourned. Damage. Moved and seconded. Uh, there being no discussion on the motion to adjourn, I'll call for a vote. Mr. Baker. Aye. Mr. Carroll. Aye. Mr. Clark. Aye. Mr. Hassinger. Aye. And Mr. Robbins votes aye. Motion carried unanimously. This meeting is adjourned until next aye. month.